Hey everyone, it's Steve here with First Updates Now, here at the Belton District event, here with 5414 Paradox. We're gonna be talking about a really unique robot with their arm for their uh, cones, as well as their shooter for their cubes. Here to talk about their robot, we have Beater, Bowen, and Lance, and we'll get all this down here on First Updates Now, behind the bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you, and also the following sponsors. If your team is using SOLIDWORKS, make sure you log into the 3D Experience platform to gain access to tutorials, collaborate with other users, and download the charge up field and kit up parts. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com first and click on Log into 3D Experience platform to gain access. FRC competition season is here. Submit your favorite moments to FRC Clips of the Week by each Sunday at discord.gg slash first updates now. Also, the FRC Top 25 poll is open Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern to Monday, 5 p.m. Eastern, where you can vote for your top 25 teams of the week at firstupdatesnow.com slash FRC Top 25. Let's start with you, Lance. Uh, how about you go over your interesting bumper mounts? One thing that we've been working on since last year is these bumper latches. Um, we've been having a few struggles with trying to get the material for them right, but we've been getting closer to making them functional and actually sturdy enough to uh, use for bumpers. It's on this side here, and so we would flip these latches down on either side, and then we can basically just squeeze them around, and then they will fit on there and then you would latch them up and that's how they're secured on. That's really unique system and really simple. Um, now let's, let's hand it off to you, Beater. How about you talk about your, your path for the cubes as well as your arm for your cones? Yeah, so obviously 2022, we had a, a shooter game and in 2020, we had a shooter game. So our team has a lot of experience building these shooters and we learned a lot of lessons in 2020. And so we figured why not leverage those lessons into this year's robot. The cubes, when you put them under powered rollers, act a lot like balls. And so we're able to build this basically like a 2022 robot where we have this pivoting intake that'll suck it in. And then we have a shooter with a bunch of set points that Bowen will talk about that allow us to shoot from, you know, right up close, get the high, the mids, the hybrids from, you know, all over the community. And then our arm here, just allows us to do our, our cones. We felt that it was important to have separate and redundant systems so that if our, for some reason our cube shooter goes down, we still have our cone arm so we can still score points in a match. And so this is a really simple arm. It just goes up, it has one degree of freedom. And something that we had to do because we built such a small robot is these uprights are actually angled at a five degree outward angle just to get the pivot in the right spot for all of the geometry to work out. And this has worked out great for us so far this event. It's a really light arm, it's really fast going up and down, and we're really happy with how it's performed so far. Um, and then sort of a, a quirk of the rules that has been engineered into our robot is the rules are written in a way where any, if any part of your robot is inside the community, you're allowed to shoot game elements. So that means if we have the very tip of this carbon fiber rod uh, in the end of the, the community, we're allowed to shoot uh, cubes. So it really gives us, you know, a lot of extra range because if you think about it, four feet in each direction, that's, you're saving eight feet on a cycle. You're saving over a match, you're saving a lot of time. And it's allowed us to just completely mop up all of the, the cubes in the middle at the start of matches and then be able to focus on cones going through the mid game. You know, that rod is a really smart idea. How long exactly is that rod? That is 48 inches. It's right at the limit. We almost didn't pass inspection because the inspector thought it was too long. Wow, I mean, that's really smart. And so you can basically shoot anywhere if that rod is just within the community, essentially. Yeah, unfortunately, because the cubes are cube shaped, it's not as accurate as a 2020 shooter. So we can only really effectively get the hybrid nodes, but that's still plenty because we can have an alliance partner go and bump them in, or we can reintake them later and score them in a higher node. That's really nice. Now, Bowen, you have a really colorful launch pad right there. Why don't you talk about what exactly you use it for and how exactly it works? All right, so the launch pad is one of our unique aspects of our 2023 season. And it is an alternative way for our operator on our drive team to be able to control the robot. So in the past years, our operators usually use something like a joystick or an Xbox controller. But the reason why we decide to use our uh, launch pad is uh, two main goals. 
one way is to easily visualize the field. If we flip this around, uh, you could visualize as this is this row is a hybrid, this is the mid, and this is a high. You can imagine the purples are the cube, and then the yellows are the cone mode. And what's so special about like cubes and cones is our plan for this in the future is to have on the path generation where we're able to just press a button and then the robot is able to just score the um, score the game piece using um, vision and other uh, programming related things. And so there are various buttons that do different things like this changes the cube and cone mode for the hybrid. And also um, we use uh, red by holding this red button, uh, we do this by tracking uh, which game pieces we have already scored. And then the second main use of the launch pad is to control the set points, as Peter mentioned before, about the shooter and the arm. Uh, for example, for the shooter, um, if you look at these five uh, blue buttons on the left of the launch pad, each of these represent uh, different um, levels of height for our um, arm to, uh, to go to. For example, uh, I believe this is low, and then it goes to high. Yeah, so low, mid, uh, high, and then we also have an extra button to go for the substation. Uh, so that's a different height. And, all right, so this is just one of our ways that we use our launch pad to control just uh, the basics of our whole robot. So we can press this pink button to intake out. And then we are able to press um, these orange buttons to get the wheel to get the cube more into the shooter for it to be ready to shoot. Well, Paradox, this is a really, really unique robot. Really excited to see where you guys go, and love the the dual mechanism concept that you guys have. And really excited, you guys have been doing really well so far at Belton. So really excited where you guys see go on. This is Paradox here at Belton, doing really well, and excited to see where you guys go on. Good luck, guys. Thank you. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If your team is using SOLIDWORKS, make sure you log into the 3D Experience platform to gain access to tutorials, collaborate with other users, and download the charge-up field and kit of parts. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com first and click on Log into 3D Experience platform to gain access. The Charged Up competition season is here. We have a ton of live Twitch and YouTube content coming to you. All of our uploads and archives, including shows, behind the bumpers, analysis, and more, are available at youtube.com slash firstupdatesnow. Check out all of our live shows on Mondays and Tuesdays at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.